Daniel, a defeat for Norwich today. What are your reflections on the game? Yeah, first of all, we are unbelievably disappointed uh, because we want to win in each of the game. But yeah, sometimes it's, it's, uh, in football, so um, this league is so close, and each of the game, they, everything uh, can happen. And yeah, when you judge a game, it was 100% not a game uh, that you should lose. So yeah, we had 60% uh, possession. We had 22 shots uh, on their goal. They had yeah, four shots on, on our goal, and three of them were were goals. And uh, the fourth shot uh, was a strike out of uh, 40 yards against the crossbar. And out of this, uh, they were able to score their third goal. Um, yeah, we won all the statistics, but the most important thing is the result. And uh, in the end, we, we lost this game, and um, yeah, for that, we are disappointed. And we went behind quite quickly today with that second minute goal. Did that really knock the team, did you think? Yeah, it's always crucial uh, because um, uh, Preston is an unbelievable difficult place place to go and they uh, are there here with just one loss in the last eight, last eight games and meanwhile uh, 13 points out of the last, um, out of the last five games so it's a, it's a really good side and they have all chances uh, to make a late push uh, to the playoffs but um, yeah, in general, small situations are always determining in football. In this situation, we concede a free kick against us. It was never a free kick, so it was a, was a mistake of the referee, but you have to defend the situation better. And we dropped a bit, uh, a bit too late, and out of this, yeah, Gallagher is always there with good deliveries, and they were able to score out of this situation. And, uh, but my feeling was, in general, we reacted in a, in a, in a, in a good way. Yeah, we don't have to speak about the second goal. Yeah, it was uh, ridiculous. It was really a joke to, to concede a penalty in, in this situation. But it was the decision of the referee we have to accept. And to be 2-0 uh, down is, um, yeah, of course, and uh, really difficult to, to turn this game, especially in Preston. We had several chances. Uh, like I said, 22 shots on the goal. We, we missed a penalty. And when you want to win points in such a game, you, yeah, you should be effective and at least should um, use then the chances that you get with a penalty or whatever. But again, we missed uh, such a situation and yeah, then it's um, yeah like it is. So in the second half, we risked so much. It was more or less a power play in front of the box and we had so many chances as, uh, as well. And yeah, then out of uh, one counter action there, they choose to have a strike out of 40 yards and the strike anyhow. Yeah, it was a brilliant strike, went against the crossbar and the rebound was really unlucky and, and uh, Maguire was then able to score with a, with a second touch, also really a decent goal. It's, it was one of the days where the opponent was there with uh, uh, four shots on the goal, three goals, yeah, and we with two, 22 shots and just one goal and uh, yeah, for that we have to accept the loss. And you mentioned that penalty, we obviously had a chance to get back into the game just before the break. Was that frustrating for you to, to watch us miss that one? Yes, of course, because um, uh, the games are, are so close and yeah, Preston got a penalty w without any reason, but they were able to use this uh, situation and we had a penalty situation. I think it was no doubt, uh, I think it was really pretty close because it was a nasty tackle to, to get even more than uh, just a yellow card. But it's like this, you have to use this situation and uh, we were not able to use it. And uh, yeah, if the opponent is there and use e nearly each and every chance and you miss so many chances, yeah, then you lose the game. And the boys looked like they really came out with determination in that second half. What did you say to them at half-time in the dressing room? Yes, we had to risk more. We defended in the last row, men against men, changed our system, uh, brought all our offensive players in. I think in general, I just can praise the lads for the reaction because how we handled this in the, in the second half was uh, was outstanding. I think no other team was, was able to have such a power play here, especially in the way game and against Preston. We, uh, normally, it's unbelievably difficult to create chances against them. We created um, a really, really big number, but anyhow, Declan Rudd today, yeah, it's it's no coincidence. So they won this game 3-1 and the, the goalkeeper is man of the match. And you know uh, anyhow how the game uh, has developed. Um, yeah, he was there with some unbelievable chains, but uh, saves. But yeah, it's also we missed uh, several really, really good, uh, good chances. Um, yeah, and for that the reaction was good, the, the desire, commitment was good, togetherness was good. But um, yeah, sometimes small situations are determining for this game, and uh, the small situation were today 100% against us. And you mentioned all those shots we had there, particularly in the second half. It seemed like tonight just wasn't our night for, for getting it in the goal. Yes, that's right. I can't complain too much because it was not, okay, the penalty situation, yes, but it was not like, yeah, you were, uh, there was unbelievable poor um, uh, shots or strikes or whatever. So it's more like, yeah, Declan Rudd, I think four times he was there, was safe on the uh, on the line and two times it was, a, it was even a teammate who clears the ball or whatever. So. It was one, was one of the days and um, yeah, I worked so long in football so sometimes it is like it is and uh, you have to accept it. So the lads were brilliant in the recent weeks and the recent months and, and were especially unbelievable good in, in using chances. 
yeah, today we were a bit poor in, in this uh, in this topic, but for that I can't complain too much. So they tried everything and, and left their heart out um, on the pitch. We will speak about uh, yeah the bit sloppy defending um, in the wide area free kick, but all the other things. So penalty um, we concede without any mistake, and the third goal was like yeah. If you are there with a strike out of 40 yards against a crossbar, and then anyhow the rebound is lucky in front of your um, uh, boot, so it's I can't complain too much. It is like this. We have to accept this result today, and um, yeah, to go for dawn. And we've got another quick turnaround. Will you be looking for the boys to bounce back again on Saturday? Yes, of course. That's uh, always what you have to do after after a disappointing uh, result, and it is uh, like it is in football. So you can't um, paint yourself how it how it develops. So listen, we were. In the recent weeks, there was outstanding performances, outstanding results, amazing win at Leeds, amazing win against Ipswich. We are all here together for four, four days. The mood is unbelievable good. Would be perfect to be there with a win, to um, to yeah sit still further on, on on top of the league. And and if you would uh, paint a picture, it would would exactly look like this. But if you want to be successful in football, it's never like an easy way. And and um, sometimes yeah. Uh, Many things are against you and you have a bit the wind in the face and my feeling was because of the referee decisions, because of some unlucky situation and because of the yeah, sloppy um, our penalty, sloppy using of our penalty and sloppy defending in the, uh, with the first, um, first free kick. Yeah, we had the wind today in our face but then you have to respond and that's, uh, that's it. And just finally, um, it was a difficult game for them to watch but we did have 800 fans that made the long trip and that's a, a long way to come on a Wednesday night so you must have been pleased to have them here as well. Yeah, it was outstanding. I just can praise them and during the whole uh, game they were um, trying to support us and, and I'm glad that we were at least uh, able in the last minute to, to score and who knows, so sometimes even the goal difference is important and to have this goal is, uh, is good and I think they were also uh, happy with the with the desire and the commitment of the lads because you could feel it on the pitch that they tried everything even when we are now three down we tried everything to come back and uh, I think uh, for that uh, we deserved also really like the applause and uh, sending ovation I was um, uh, to the fans and, and uh, said thank you as well and, and give them some applause back because the support today was brilliant.